Have you ever wondered if there was an easier way to get your crops up to the production facilities? Well, now there is. This right here is the Grain Quid Pro by Missy B and Vulcan95. This thing right here, it's a silo. It functions just like any other silo in the game. And it also functions as a production facility. Let me go ahead and show you. To place this on the map, you need to come down here to construction. And then you're actually going to go over to production and then into factories. Then you're going to come across until you see the Grain Quid Pro. You have two different versions right here. The first one we're going to look at is the silo. And that's going to be this one right here. It's going to cost you $80,000 to put down. But as you can see down in the bottom right hand corner, it's going to hold all of your crops like everything. Grapes, sugarcane, straw, manure, um forage um it's going to hold some silage different things like that you can rotate it around whichever way you'd like to um i'm going to go ahead and put it right here now the other version that you can have is going to be the one right next to it this is large production is what it's called it's hundred and ten thousand dollars but it's also going to hold your liquids now this thing is also going to take some cotton you can see right there milk um, cut sugar beets it's going to take your digestate it's going to take mineral feed it's going to take diesel it's going to take so many awesome things here y'all so we're going to go ahead and place this one down to one hundred and ten thousand dollars now that we've got these two placed on the map, let's come over here and take a look at the productions menu and see exactly what you're going to be able to put in here. So this one here is the one that says uh, silo here on the left hand side. As you can see, all of your normal crops you're going to be able to put in here all the way down to silage, forage and manure. And for the large production one over here, it's going to function the same way. But like I said, it's going to have a few extra items and your liquids. So we're going to come right here. And as you can see now on this one, you're also going to get milk. You're going to get your um, cotton also, wood, wood chips, mineral feed, diesel, digestate, all these different ones right here. So if you're going to put one on the map, I would probably go with this one right here, unless you're not really dealing with some of these other items. And then you can go just with the regular silo. I've got 59,400 liters of wheat right here. I'm going to go and dump this into the silo and then I'm going to get out and I'm going to show you guys exactly what this is going to look like. Now the truck's unloaded. You can see that now we have 59,400 liters over here in our storage. Now this is an incoming material. All right. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and turn on my wheat recipe. All right. It's not going to cost me any money and it's going to run 24,000 cycles every single month. All right, so now what I need to do to send this to the next place, so this is going to be like a granary or something like that. If you've got anything that's going to take wheat on your farm or around the map that you own, it's going to distribute to them. So what I need to do is make sure that this says distributing, and then you can see that right now it's 840. So I'm going to go ahead and speed up time a little bit. I'm going to go to 360 here until we get to the top of the hour. Boom right there now when i come back in to here you can now see that on my wheat okay if i go back up to the top i now only have 17,400 liters in storage okay and if i come down here it's showing the exact same thing well where did it go okay well if i come up here now you can see that i've got my grain mill and now i've got 4,983 liters up here and we are already making some flour down here so let's go take a look at the grain mill so here you can see we've got the 4979 in there right now and where's the rest of my product well some of it came over here to this silo and then a little bit more came over here to this silo because they function as production items and whenever you've got multiple production items on the map that are going to store or accept those products it's going to transfer everywhere, okay? So be careful with that. If you're going to run these silos, I recommend that you really only run one. If you're going to run liquids, make sure you get that one. If you're not going to run any liquids or cotton or anything like that, just get this one here. Because if you have both going, it's going to go back and forth. And some of your product is never actually going to get to the production facility when you use distribute. If we keep getting mods like this, all we're going to have to do is just sit in the tractor all day.